So Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of April 3rd through the 9th, 2017. And the messages will also be for Libra Moon and Libra Rising. All right, Libras, uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be a, a bad week for some of you that I'm about to read for. The focus uh, for some might be uh, regarding the energy of the Nine of Pentacles in the upright pos uh, position. So this is a good card. This is a good card of energy. It um, could be that some of you are going to be focused on work and also related to finances this upcoming week. Nine of uh, Pentacles comes in the form of, uh, for some, abundance. Uh, money being received, uh, possibly money being returned. Uh, Pentacles represent, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male or female. Uh, energy, so it may be exchanges with those zodiac signs, but it could be with any zodiac sign, as I always say. Uh, but I do feel that there's someone building, um, someone is building up their nest egg. This could be in the form of uh, retirement or 401k. Uh, money coming in. This is what I'm seeing for Libras this upcoming week. Some. Yeah, some sort of money. This is not like a couple of uh, coins. This is, a, a, I don't want to say a great deal of money, but there is some sort of um, large amount attached to this uh, Nine of Pentacles in the upright where money is being received. This could come in also as a bonus commission pay raise. So I do feel that there is uh, that energy taking place or have the potential of taking place this upcoming week. What else am I getting about the Nine of Pentacles for Libra? This Nine of Pentacles in the upright is fostering a sense of security and stability when it comes to your work and your finances. The next card that's up is the Eight of uh, Cups in the reverse. So maybe that some of you are getting over some sort of financial loss from the past. Uh, with the Eight of Cups showing up. This is all about having to uh, deal with some emotional impact. Uh, could be related to uh, finances, but also the Eight of Cups could be related to a relationship. You know, this is a general reading. This is not your uh, general love reading. So apply these messages to whatever is, you know, significant and personal for you. The exchanges could be that of... Um, you know, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female, but in the reverse, getting over some sort of emotional disappointment or letdown uh, that's geared towards a person, situation or an event. And like I had said, it could have been overcoming some sort of financial loss uh, with the Nine of Pentacles uh, and the Eight of Cups is facing Um and not really facing, but it's it's right next to the Nine of Pentacles. Also, two of the cups represent children, so there might have been some sort of emotional issues going on with children, per se. And, um, yeah, I'm getting the children. That they could be, you know, water sign energies as well. Okay, but whatever the, the energy was or is, this week is all about getting over uh, releasing some sort of emotional baggage or getting over in a disappointment or a letdown attached to a situation or a person or an event. All right, next up is the Page of Cups. So this is an offer of love. Could be an offer of um, a new job because of the Nine of Pentacles as your overall energy, Libra. Page of Cups, again, represents that water sign energies, but somebody is offering and I also I also am picking up too if there was someone uh, related to the Eight of Cups in the Reverse uh, energy dealt with a disappointment or a letdown, especially when it comes from a person, because this page represents an actual person for me. This could be a younger person. Uh, this could be you, a Libra, being younger. But someone, it could be you, Libra, that I'm reading for, could offer an apology for whatever happened here with the Eight of Cups in the Reverse. So someone's either offering love or an apology um, towards you or you're offering an apology to someone else that may have been part of the Eight of Cups energy in the past. All right. Last card up Friday going into the weekend 
uh, we have the seven of wands in the reverse. And this is actually pretty good because it's overcoming uh, any connections tied into uh, the emotional aspects of the eight of cups in the reverse and the wands, seven of wands in particularly, especially when it's in the upright, sometimes you can feel defensive or feel like you're being, you know, personally attacked. And it's usually coming in from multiple people. Uh, I usually pick up uh, external influences, family members and friends, um, you know, trying to pick arguments or whatever. And you're standing there trying to defend your position. Also, if it's not related to any uh, external energies, it could be just you internally feeling some sort of uh, restless energy, uh, increased energy. And sometimes this is pretty good because of the fact that um, we need that energy to motivate us to do other things, hopefully other things that lead to positive um, results. So ending of either being, um, you know, dealing with battles or struggles with others or internal battles and struggles with within self coming to an end Friday. So like I said before, Libra, this is a pretty good week in terms of the energies. I really do like the nine of pentacles showing up here uh, because there's something coming in, uh, whether or not it's attached to um, work or finances, but something that is going to foster some sort of stability and security for you. Okay. With that being said, this is your reading. Please look at your moon and your rising signs for additional uh, messages. I want to wish you all a very uh, safe upcoming week ahead, full of love and light, of course, until I talk to you again, Libra. Please be well. Bye.